Hello and welcome to this pocket code tutorial. In this lesson you will learn how to create a score display by using a variable. As you can see the score increases when the cat is tapped and decreases when tapping the rabbit. Before we start programming this game we want to mention that we have already prepared a background. If you like it you can find it and other backgrounds in the media library or you can create one yourself. Start off by creating a new object for the cat. The cat we used can be found along with other funny graphics in the media library. When the program starts the cat should move randomly on the screen for the duration of the program. Add a forever brick so the cat keeps moving until the game is over. To actually move the cat, add a place at brick. The cat needs to appear randomly on the screen. Therefore, set the x and y values of the place at brick to be random. The value we use for x should be a random number within the left and right edges of the screen. The value we use for y should be a random number within the top and bottom edges of the screen. If you do not know the right values for your screen size, press play and in the pause menu turn the axis on. As the cat should be unpredictable when jumping around, vary the time the cat stays in one position. Do that by inserting a wait after the place at brick and pick a random waiting time. The cat should disappear after it has waited in a certain place, so add a hide brick. Since we hit it, we have to add a show brick in the beginning to display it again. Try your game now and check if the cat is moving randomly and stays on the screen. When the cat is tapped, it should change its appearance to indicate that it has been caught. To achieve this behavior, insert a new look and go to the scripts of the cat. Add a when tapped brick and attach to this brick a switch to look brick, which changes the cat's look to one where she is caught. For the change to be visible in the game, add a wait brick with a slight delay. After that, hide the cat. Since we want the cat to change its look back when it reappears on screen, insert a switch to look brick at the beginning of the forever loop. Try the game and see what happens when you catch the cat. The cat now jumps around and it's time to add the score. As we want to display the score in the background, you should go to the scripts of the background. Since only variables can be displayed, the score's label needs to be a variable. Therefore, a set variable brick needs to be created.
The labeling can be shown by using a show variable brick. Choose a good position to display the label. In the beginning the score needs to be zero, so remember to initialize the variable. Add a set variable brick which sets the score counter to zero. Again, insert a show variable brick and choose good values for the x and y position so it is displayed next to the score labeling. Check if the label and the score are displayed properly on the screen. For the score to actually work, it should be increased by 1 every time the cat is tapped. Go to the scripts of the cat and add to the when tapped brick a change variable brick, which adds 1 to the counter variable. Try the game now. As you can see in our example, if you want to make your game a little harder, you can add other characters and in the change variable, use a negative number. This way, when you tap the wrong character, the score decreases. Another idea would be to add characters which are worth more points when caught. Try it out yourself and have fun.